Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of representing ratios. This is standard 6.4e in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 35 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So it looks like we have a simple fractional model here. And we have shaded area represents that uh, the painted. So this is the painted over here. It's always going to be important to keep in mind what is painted because we need to know what is painted here. So each small square has the same dimension. So we can view this as a fraction. So let's see what we have here. Uh, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we've got a 5 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 5 by 8, which means the total area is going to be 40. So we're going to keep that as our denominator. And let's take a look at our painted area. Painted area. Uh, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 22, 23, 24. So we'll call it 24. So 24 40ths, or we can call that as a ratio 24 to 40. Or you can always represent it with the word 2, 24 to 40. Seems simple. Yet our problems don't look anything like that. So we need to change our ratio. In this case, probably it would be best to look at our ratio as a fraction and go ahead and change that into a decimal and then into a percent. Now, I can already see some answers here. Take a look at this 24. You notice how 24 shows up right there. If I were to add 24 and 40, I'm going to get 64. And let's see, if I take 40 and take that away from 100, I'm going to get 60. So even without doing any work, I'm seeing some possible answers. Could be correct, could be incorrect. So first, we're going to go from a fraction to a decimal. And then when we get that, it's pretty easy to go from a decimal to a percent. So fraction to decimal, you divide up. It seems simple, and it actually is. Divide up means you take your denominator. In this case, this is 40, our total area. We're going to divide this up into 24. Now, it doesn't go into 24. It goes into 24 zero times, which is perfectly fine. It's supposed to go in zero times. We get our decimal there. Add a zero. Make sure you put your decimal both in the dividend and in the quotient. Now we can work here, and so 4 is going to go up in there, let's see, 6 times, so 6 times 4 is going to be 240. So it looks like we might have our answer just right away. All right, so our answer is going to be 0 0.6. Now, that is our decimal, so we're going to call this 24 40ths, changes to 0 0.6. Now, how do we change that into a from a decimal to a percent. Well, you take your decimal, 0 0.6, and you move the decimal point twice to the right, one, two. So if you have any zeros in front, you drop them. If you have any blanks, you add a zero because a zero is worth nothing. And guess what? 0 0.6 is the same as 6 tenths, is the same as 60%. Now, that was our answer here, C. So that is going to be our correct answer. So what is an easier way to do this? Well, before dividing 40 into 24, some of you might have noticed that that was a fraction that we probably could have been re reducing. So 24 fortieths. What if we were, divide, were to divide that by, let's just see what happens when we divide by 2. When they're both even, you can always divide by 2. That's going to be 12 twentieths. And then if you take 12 twentieths and divide by 2 again, guess what you're going to get? You're going to get 6 tenths. And that's easy because that 6 tenths is exactly what this answer was right here. So it's a little bit easier to go from the fraction 6 tenths to the decimal to the percent.